What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and this is your top five mid year awards. And we're talking about the pay per views of the year or mid year, my bad. And these are the top five pay per views of mid 2022. A lot of good shows, a lot of bad ones. Uh, this was kind of hard uh, to pick, like, you know, to structure them, but uh, the number one was pretty easy, and figuring out wh which was number two, number three, and number four which was pretty easy, um, you know, just, it was kind of hard to structure them, but I had to kind of, like, remember the cards and stuff like that, and which ones I enjoyed the most, but, but yeah, man, uh, a lot of good pay-per-views this year, and let's start it off, and let's talk about number five, the curtain jerker of this little uh, top five countdown, I, I had to go with UFC 274, Gaethje versus Oliver, really good card, but, that Rose fight really killed it for me. I, I feel like that's what killed that fight. But the fights on that card that were supposed to deliver, like obviously Gaethje versus Oliveira and then Chandler versus Tony Ferguson, delivered. It was a good card. Uh, a lot of crazy finishes. Uh, a lot of a lot of things to remember uh, from that night. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, a good actually prediction night for me too. I think I went like eight or something or maybe nine or something. Uh, I remember on that card, but it, it was decent. It was actually decent. Um, the main event was nuts, and then you had that crazy fucking KO from fucking Tony and, and all those dudes. Uh, no, from Chandler, my bad. The only fights that kind of get disappointed was Shogun versus OSP. And then Randy Brown had a good performance against uh, Colin Williams. Um, Prelims-wise, Trinaldo Roberts had a crazy fight. Uh, Roy Val finished over Schnell. Which is aged kind of well for him, uh, and then Fialo knocking out Van Camp. I mean, it it was a decent card. Some finishes uh, sprinkled around, but I I I enjoyed myself uh, on that card. And obviously the main event was fucking bonkers. Everyone went crazy for it, so you know it was a good card. Uh, at number four, I had to go with, with our most recent pay per view, UFC 276. Now 276, in my opinion, man, it 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 was looking like the card of the cards. Man, it was so stacked. And it, it really was a good good show until the fucking main event. Um, honestly, this show probably would be number one if I never saw Adesanya versus Cannoneer. It just killed the vibe of the whole entire show, in my opinion. Uh, and like and here's the thing. like It's not like Volkanovski and Max Holloway had a fight of the year contender. But it was a shutout, but it was entertaining. It was a 50-45, but it was entertaining. 50-45. Like, it, it was... You learn something from it. Like, I didn't really learn anything from Adesanya versus Cannoneer, man. Um, these guys, they just didn't compete in there. Uh, it, but it was a good card. You had Uriah Hall, Andre Muniz. They had a good scrap. Um, I mean, even the Bantamweights got it. Just Rose Clark got finished. Um, a lot of crazy fights. Jim Miller, uh, not Jim Miller, my bad. Uh, Brad Rydell versus Jalen Turner. Jim Miller versus Cerrone. It was the last fight uh, of Cerrone's career. Ian Gary had a good performance against Gabe Green. Like, uh, really solid card. Like, honestly, uh, Brad Tavares versus Drickus Duplass was decent, bloody. Um, but, yeah, like, beautiful fights. Sean Strickland versus Pierre, good finish. Robbie Law and Brian Barberina had an awesome fight. Uh, the only fight that kind of, like, killed it was Pedro Munoz versus O'Malley. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, but, yeah, this was a good card, but just the main event. Uh, it should have been a lot higher than what it ended up being, but it is what it is. Um... So, yeah. At number three, I think an underrated pay-per-view of the year was UFC 272. Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal. We just got the news that they're doing Nate Diaz um, and Kamsat Chemaev, which is going to be a pay-per-view main event, uh, which is no title on the line. Um, and I remember they stacked that Colby Masvidal card pretty good. And it was a good card. It was fun. It was, it was a fun f uh, night of fights, I remember, man. Bryce Mitchell versus Edson Barboza was a really good clinical performance. Uh, obviously, Kevin Holland making his W comeback against uh, Alex Oliveira. Um, Rafael Dos Anjos, Renato Mokayo. It went five rounds, but it wasn't boring. It was a good fight. We saw we saw Dos Anjos put on work. Sergey Spitback versus Greg Hardy. Seeing Greg Hardy get messed up is always a delight to see. Um, even Jalen Turner put on a performance against Jamie Malarkey. Uh, Marina Rodriguez actually had a good female fight against Zhang Yan Yan. Uh, we did see a, I mean, you guys killed me for not adding this actually on the list. Uh, Kennedy versus the uh, Nikaila or Nigger Moranu or whatever his name is. That robbery fight. 
that was horrible, and you guys were mad I didn't add that to the list. So, yeah, I forgot about it. My bad. Um, Morozov got a submission victory over uh, Agapova. I mean, if I look down, uh, Brian Keller lost to Umar Namagamadov. Tim Elliott pull, pulled off the upset against Tigir and Blekov. You know, some good fights. Jacoby versus Olin Jacek. Ludovic Klein versus Devontae Smith. All decent scraps. And this was a really fun card. I remember not being bored uh, in this card, and I enjoyed it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and at number two, I had to go with UC 273. Honestly, the whole card in itself wasn't the greatest. I'm not going to lie. But the three fights that were advertised on this card delivered massively. Chamaya versus Burns was a fight of the year contender, which I'll be talking about uh, tomorrow. Um, it was incredible. It was incredible. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun. Aljamain Sterling and Peter Jan had a very technical, um, interesting, but competitive fight. A lot of people forget it was competitive. Funny how people love saying, well, it was two 10-8s. Still was competitive, but whatever. Um, they had a good fight. And then Volkanovski. I, what I love about this card, this was the card where people put some respect on Volkanovski's name, like, legitimately, because they saw him finish somebody. A lot of people were wondering, Volk doesn't have any finishing ability, da 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 this, da 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 that. Against a durable guy in Zombie, he finished him. And he made it look easy, and probably one of the best performances of his career in my opinion i mean it's hard to say which one was his best some people might say the third max holloway fight but this one was like at least his in his title reign this was the most dominant um and he looked sharp like a fucking like a knife you know and he looked amazing in there uh and i i just think that at least the three fights delivered like uh, let me remember what was on the card like I, I forgot actually what was on the card actually let me see. It wasn't the greatest card in the world, I'll be honest. Just the three fights delivered massively. Yeah, you had Mackenzie Dern versus Tisha Torres, which was kind of boring. Vince Pichel versus Mark Madsen. I enjoyed it, but people thought it was boring. Uh, Ian Gary versus Jerron Weeks. That was a bad fight. I remember that. Anthony Hernandez actually had a good performance. Roquel Pennington, Aspen Ladd, boring. Mike Malott went out, went crazy on Mickle, Mickey Gall, which was, which was entertaining. Um, but yeah, like not the greatest show of all time. But, oh, Olenek got a W over Vandera. Uh, Julia Ars got a W, so that was nice to see. Uh, but, yeah, besides that, not the most entertaining card of all time. But, my God, like, fucking those three fights delivered. And when you get a fight of the year contender, and then you get a crazy dominant main event with a finish, and then a really good co-main event, I mean, what, what more can you ask for? Uh, but we, got, we need a crowning moment. We need a crowning winner. We need to find out which was... The pay-per-view of mid-2022, and that goes to UFC 275. This show, I blasted it. The MMA community blasted it, talking about how it was bad, uh, talking about the card was trash. It ended up being, in my opinion, card of the year. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry. I don't want to spoil it, but, man, Yuri versus Glover was fight of the year. I think all of you guys know that. And I, this card was just nuts, man. Glover versus Yuri was crazy. Valentin Shevchenko versus Tyler Santos was competitive. It was actually, I don't know, maybe I made it entertaining just rooting for Tyler Santos and talking trash to Valentin Shevchenko for myself, but it is what it is. Whaley Zhang's finish over Joanna was crazy. Jack Matthews teaching Andre Fiala how to box. Uh, Jack uh, Della Medina having a good performance over Ramazan Amiyev. Uh, I mean, finishes on finishes. Um, fucking Choi and Kulabao went to war. Um, Masha Tate taught Steve Garcia how to strike. Brendan Allen having a competitive fight against Jacob McCoon. Uh, Kang Kong Ho, I'm sorry if I said his name wrong. Um, uh, having good performance against Dana Bakhtarel. Um, just good fights. Like, let, let me look more. Uh, I mean, I mean, Long, it wasn't good performance, but, uh, not Long getting finished by, uh, Silvana Gomez was interesting. I mean, there wasn't a bad fight on this card, you know? Like, a lot of finishes. Uh, I guess the only fight I would say was, was boring was uh, Romana Pascula versus Jocelyn Edwards. But it's a phenomenal card. And this card killed expectations, man. It really did. Uh, and it proved a lot of people wrong uh, about how you look at a card. Like, honestly, that's after that card, I'm done, like, judging cards on paper. Like, if a card is bad, it's bad. But I'm a... 
I'm always going to give a card a chance. I'm not going to cry that the card isn't great. If, it, if the fights end up being good, there's nothing to complain about. And this is the perfect example. And this might stay pay-per-view of the year for a long time. Like, unless something comes up, you know, UFC 276 had that chance to beat it, and it didn't. It actually didn't beat a lot of these, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Um, we're going to see, man. There's a lot of great cards. You know, obviously, UFC 280. What Islam and Charles, you know, that might have a chance to top it, but, but yeah. I back. I had to go eat some food actually, but uh, yeah, it is what it is though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know what I was saying, but this is like five hours later before the <laughs> before the video is or after the video is made. Uh, but yeah, go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Obviously, we got some videos coming up tomorrow, so be on the eye for that. Love y'all and goodbye.